we would like to introduce you to a new feature in Dante, Device Lock. This new feature in Dante allows you to prevent tampering with Dante routes and settings. This requires updated firmware and Dante controller together. This is supported in Dante Virtual Sound Card and Dante Via. It only affects device behavior as seen through Dante controller. If settings can be adjusted inside product, this is not lockable. Enabling device lock. First, determine if device lock is supported on devices in your network. Device lock is activated per device by checking device lock box in device info tab or clicking the lock button in device view. Then enter a four digit pin and confirm. In Dante controller, a lock icon appears on the name bar of each locked device in the routing view. When channels of locked devices are selected or moused over, they are highlighted in red. Attempts to change routes on locked receivers will result in no action. Locked transmitters prevent unwanted additional flows from being created. To unlock a device and make changes to it, open it in Device View. Then, click the lock icon in the toolbar. Enter the pin that was entered to lock the device. Now, the device will be unlocked. Once unlocked, the old pin is forgotten. Did you forget the pin? Don't worry. Devices can be force unlocked by physically disconnecting from Dante network and being directly connected to Dante controller after several minutes. Device lock works best when both transmitting and receiving devices support the feature. However, we know that many times not all devices on a network will be updated. In Dante, Receivers request channels from transmitters and maintain subscription status. A locked receiver can have none of its subscription changed. A locked transmitter knows only what devices it was transmitting to when it was locked. This locking will thus prevent transmission to other receivers. A locked transmitter cannot prevent a receiver from disconnecting as well and it can prevent new receivers from being added to its subscriptions, thus conserving available flows. Older devices that do not support device lock may still be connected, but may generate error messages when interacting with locked devices. For example, an unlockable transmitter may be connected to a locked receiver, but other connections to this transmitter are always possible. Thank you.